Hey you guys, it's Bray tonight. We're here to talk for a few minutes about Gypsy Rose officially filing for divorce from Ryan Anderson. I also have a clip that I have saved and I want to share it because she um, basically admits that she got a puppy instead of having a baby because wrong timing or whatever, which I found interesting. And the second topic I want to cover in this video, it's not going to be a whole bunch of stuff, but I also want to hit on Morgan Wallen's recent arrest in Nashville. He was arrested for allegedly throwing a chair or a stool off of a six story bar. And I've got more information about kind of what I guess in his mind, what was the justification or what set of emotions kind of led him to that place? Um, being arrested for what could have literally unalived somebody is not cute. It's not funny, but he will continue to have a bunch of uh, fans that applaud this toxic man baby behavior. And, um, you know, man babies and man children are all over the place and I, I think that this is a really bad look for him but nevertheless if you're interested please keep watching All right, you guys, so as Miss Gypsy Rose is currently recovering from her recent rhinoplasty, which I hope is going very well for her, she did um, go ahead and file for divorce from Ryan in this period of time as well. She officially filed on Monday, which is uh, April 8th. Over the last day or so, there's also been some additional information released alongside that announcement. Uh, shedding a little more light on what was allegedly happening behind closed doors between she and Ryan and what led her to make that decision. And I want to cite this article. It says, in March 2024, Gypsy confirmed that they had broken up. She filed for divorce less than two weeks later, which is April 8th. Since the news came abruptly, fans are wondering what caused the couple to go their separate ways. I have mentioned her before. Nadia, who is a close friend of Gypsy, um, spoke with people and said she claimed that Gypsy had locked herself in the bathroom of their Louisiana home to avoid Ryan as he banged on the door yelling, let me in. He got in her face and screamed, she told the publication when she was talking to People Magazine. Gypsy said that she was afraid that he was going to hit her. He didn't, but that happened in the past with her mother. So first instinct was to tighten up and be prepared, but she got to safety and called her lawyer too. Ryan is a big guy, and she told me that it was really scary. The next morning, she packed her belongings and drove to her uh, father and stepmother's home, according to Nadia. And neither Gypsy or Ryan responded to this website for comment. What I want to say about that is, number one, I don't think that Gypsy Rose has a license, which actually I think I'm like 99.999% sure she did not have a driver's license. So she must have had somebody drive her to her father's house. But if that is actually what happened and that's the way that it went down, as I've always said, people should not be hurting one another. Point blank period. I always disagree with that, whether it's a marriage, a friendship, a someone that you don't even know, like you should not be going out of your way to physically hurt somebody. That is super scary and it's extremely unnecessary. Now, can I say, oh, well, Ryan doesn't seem like that kind of guy. I could, but I really don't know the guy. And I also don't know Gypsy. Um, what I have gathered from Gypsy is that she is very good at manipulating situations. And I don't know a whole lot about Ryan at all. So I hope that they both can just... I, I know this isn't going to happen and I'm still going to cover it because they're both still going to continue to feed this... Um, circus of a production both of them um but i wish that they would both just like sign off the internet go like get off like just just go away because gypsy specifically has created so much mess and so much toxicity somebody on tiktok broke down a timeline of the things that have happened just in the last 30 days we're talking about 
getting matching tattoos, being spotted with Ken, announcing separation from Ryan, smoking cigarettes outside a Dollar General with Ken. Like, it, it's, it's just, as I've said before, it's giving trashy soap opera vibes. In my opinion, my perspective, and that's all I really have to say about it. But I hope that she's healing from her surgery very well. I want to insert the little clip where she talks about her basically getting Pixie the puppy because she felt like it was too soon to have a baby. I'm actually really glad that they didn't have a pregnancy announcement in that short period of time because that would have been really devastating and sad for an infant to literally be going through all of this um, drama and fighting and everything happening so publicly. That would have been so unfortunate for a child that's not even born yet. Um, but what I want to say, and I, I am going to get up on my soapbox for a second, so get mad if you want. It's all good. People who make these quick decisions to get a puppy because they're, they aren't ready to have a baby, to me, it's, it's not fair. Do I think that raising a puppy can, some of the responsibilities, can it mirror what raising kids might be like? Sure. And I respect both roles. And that's the problem. A lot of times parents don't respect people that are dog owners and more specifically raising puppies. But I, as somebody who has raised multiple puppies, um, I, I always respect the parents' role in what they're doing with a human child. Whatever, it's never, you know, mutual with some of these people. But I just don't like this idea of let's go ahead and get a puppy. I really want to have a baby. Let's run around and get a puppy instead. And use the puppy as this big, oh, announcement. Oh, we have a family edition. Oh, it's so exciting. Here's the puppy. And then you're so quick to walk out on that puppy. Like, I don't know if, if you're, if you're trying to make the correlation between I'm going to get this puppy instead of having a baby, what does that say for you as being a parent? What does that say for your ability to walk away from what you're kind of comparing as having a baby in the house. I think that Gypsy Rose has shown that she not only lacks maturity, which I can look past, I understand that to a certain degree, but she lacks just common human decency in a lot of ways. And maybe Ryan is a big scumbag too. I'm not here to necessarily take sides, but I can say that I've seen more of Gypsy Rose's character than I have of Ryan's. So tell me how you feel about that down below. I, I think that the whole puppy baby thing is complex and I want to hear what y'all have to say about that. But um, I, I am glad that the puppy stayed with Ryan. Ryan seems to be um, standing firm on the puppy is mine and that's just the way that it is. And he is very happy that that's the way that things turned out. And I will say once again, even though I sound like a broken record, I hope that him and this dog become best of friends. And um, I hope that the dog maybe heals some problems that he's going through, whatever those are. He needs to settle into our everyday life, but I'm when he's at work, I'm by myself at the apartment. It was just time to have an addition to our family, and I think maybe um, a baby is a little too soon. Never had a puppy before. This is new for me. All right, so Morgan Wallen, I'm sure a lot of y'all know who he is. His music is not my favorite. Like I don't, I don't seek out more Morgan Wallen music. I don't follow him on social media. I don't download his music. I would definitely never go to one of his shows. It's just not my cup of tea personally. But a lot of people really like Morgan Wallen and they have put him on this pedestal of he is the coolest. He's doing the trendiest stuff. He is just above all else in some people's eyes. It, it's kind of weird. To me, I find him to be very middle of the road as far as talent, as far as ability to write, produce, perform, and engage a crowd. I find him to be middle of the road at best. That's my opinion. But he was arrested on April 7th. 
and the timeline that led up to his arrest is quite interesting. He and his ex-girlfriend dated for about three years approximately based on what I have seen. They broke up, you know, 2019. She Current day this year, March 29th, she ended up getting engaged. And then just a couple days later, she ended up eloping with her current partner. And because Morgan was so upset that he lost the love of his, love of his life and he fumbled the bag and he whatever, he decided to take out his anger at a bar, what I believe is under the influence of a fair amount of alcohol and throw a chair over a roof in the middle of Nashville where there are literally people walking on the sidewalk down below enjoying their evenings someone could have been unalived because of him being so upset that he fumbled the bag and his ex is now married boohoo this is man child energy and I, I don't care like I don't care if he's adored by every college student in America don't care let's stop excusing toxic man child behavior and saying that oh it was a bad moment oh it was because of the alcohol oh it was because he lost the love of his life oh it's because his ex got married oh it's because like stop giving a an excuse to somebody literally throwing a tantrum as an adult that could have ended in somebody losing their life. Let's stop doing that in 2024. I know that that is not going to happen, but I'm going to say it anyway, because I, I'm so tired of people giving dangerous behavior an excuse. Or, oh, you don't understand. Oh, blah, blah, blah. like, no, I don't understand. Fully. I haven't been in his exact shoes, but I can tell you that I would not be caught throwing a chair over a ledge of a building. Are you crazy? Like, are you crazy? This is somebody who's worth multi-million, millions of dollars, and you're, you're just going to, like, behave like that? Like, you have... I'm pretty sure you probably had security around you, all this kind of stuff. And like, you're, you're still going to allow this temper tantrum and your um, rage over the situation to control your body to the point where somebody down below could have lost their life. That is pathetic. And I'm not here for platforming pathetic man babies, woman babies, they babies. I don't care. I find the whole thing to be embarrassing and Morgan Wallen right now is beyond embarrassing so have y'all heard about the Morgan Wallen thing have you been following it did you see any of the photos that were released of course I will kind of splice some throughout but this is pretty cut and dry to me I I think that it's just ridiculous and that's how I feel and yeah so that's the deal for today. I am really trying to be consistent this month in April for y'all. I really want to just kind of get back to the roots of my channel. And early on, I used to do a lot of double upload days to the best of my ability. Of course, I'm never going to run myself dry or upload if I don't feel like uploading or film if I don't want to film. But I'm really trying to be consistent and just, you know, give April a really solid go and hopefully maybe grow my channel a little bit, get some new subscribers so that we can continue to grow this little community. But I'm so grateful for each and every one of y'all. And yeah, so that's it for today. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, I'm all done. I'm all done.